Hey, it's Joel, 3D Printing Nerd. We're gonna talk today about refill. It is a high quality recycled filament. At least that's what the box tells us. 3D Brooklyn sent this over for me to take a look at. I was interested in it. This is PET, 90% recycled, made from old bottles. It's a 0.75 kilogram roll and it's 1.75 millimeter filament. Once you open it up, you do get a roll that I've already printed quite a lot with. It's in a cardboard spool, similar to the protopasta spools, but a different thickness of the cardboard. Looks like uh, it's, it's held together with some strategically placed glue. The filament itself is a PET. I printed this between 225 and 240 at 60 millimeters per second, and it worked, well, great. Let me show you what I printed. First, of course, I, I tried my maker coin. So I had this set for PLA on the CR10, and what I did is I adjusted the bed once I hit print to 70 degrees Celsius, and then I changed the temperature to 235 degrees Celsius, and it printed great. There is a just a slight bit of under extrusion, and I think it's because the PLA multiplier was set to 0.95, and once I set it to 1.0 for the rest of my prints, it was just fine. But the Maker Coin turned out great. This is a this is a great print. All right, next I printed these bottles. I figured if it's made from recycled bottles, I should probably print a bottle. The caps were printed like this, right next to the bottle, and the bottles turned out great. They hold water. They're not leak proof because there isn't a seal, but uh, I, I may use some Ninja Flex and print myself a seal for these bottles. And there's two here because I, I did something interesting in Simplify 3D. This one was printed with standard settings and there is a slight space between the inner wall and the outer wall, giving it a bit of flex, but making it not as strong. Whereas this one used a feature in Simplify 3D called single extrusion infill, I think is what it's called. But basically where there is a tiny bit of space between the walls, it used a single extrusion bead of filament to fill that in. And so this one is much more strong. The walls don't give nearly as much. It's a little bit heavier because there is more filament, but I could throw this harder at something and not worry about it breaking. But regardless, the PET performed great in printing bottles. All right, the next thing was this thing, and it looks weird because it, it is weird, but this is a very fancy wine bottle holder designed by my buddy Kirby Downey. And it works like this. You put it here and the wine bottle goes in here and it lowers the, I believe it lowers the center of gravity or centers the center of gravity or it uses some sort of magical science to hold it in place. I have a bottle of Ficklin Vineyard California Port. Let's see what happens. There we go. Good job, Kirby. Works great. This was printed at 235C with 70C on the bed and it took like 15 hours to print. I could have dialed in the settings of the filament a little bit better. I could have had more uh, retraction, I think it is, and I possibly could have printed at a lower temperature, but for just loading the filament and hitting print, I think it's a decent print, but the filament itself is also incredibly strong, and I would feel safe with my wine bottle sitting there as long as my kids didn't knock it over. You know me, I love my vases, and I do love Devin's from Make Anything awesome vase. Uh, I think it's called a spin vase. This is a single perimeter and it's, it feels cool. Uh, it's already cracking in, in, in a spot, but it, it's got more give like a PET does compared to a, a, a more rigid PLA. The feeling is similar to the give you would have in a soda bottle. So if you went and bought a plastic bottle of let's say 7-Up or Sprite because this is green, and, and you kind of squish the bottle a little bit, it has that sort of flex to it. Whereas PLA feels more like a, a more rigid material, but this has that, that soda bottle flex to it. I haven't printed with a lot of PET. I'm satisfied with this result and I think I'd be able to dial it in. I would consider it a good vase. It's not great because of my mistakes, not the filament, but yay vase. Finally, I wanted to do something kind of cool and we're gonna, we're gonna get this out of the way, and we're gonna move this out of the way, and we're gonna move this out of the way, because my buddy Simone made me a skateboard. <laughs> Here we go. This is the 3D Printing Nerd Penny Board. 
and it works by putting three rods through the skateboard itself and then attaching the trucks and the wheels. It looks cool. The filament did a fantastic job. The, the top layers look great and the hands, the little high five hands in there, they, they look great. The, the filament is cool. I might print with more PET. Simone did recommend a 50% infill for this. I printed at 20% infill to see what kind of strength and durability this filament would have if it was connected to some wheels and I was standing on it. So what I'm gonna do in the near future is go to the skateboard shop and find myself some trucks and some wheels. I'm gonna go get some threaded rod. I'm gonna get some nuts to hold it together and then we're going to try this out. I'm kind of excited. Okay. I did it, kinda. This will be a cool one because uh, I don't know how to skateboard, so you might see me fall on my butt. So on the 3D Brooklyn website, this is $39.99. Yes, $39.99 for a 750 gram roll, which puts it, it's a little bit pricey. But if you're looking for a material such as PET that you need a little bit more strength for, I think this isn't bad. And I quite like this green color. They have other colors too. I got this nifty little 3D Brooklyn bag and inside there was this black material and it actually says made from old car dashboards and refrigerators as well. So some refrigerator and some car dashboard gave their life for you to have filament to print with. There we go. In the end, I think that it is a good filament. I think that you could have good results printing with it. I think that you may find the price a little bit higher than what you would expect, but you are getting quality for your dollar. So here we go. This is the refill recycled PET filament from 3D Brooklyn. I'll put a link down in the description. And if you'd like some of your own, you can go to their website and you can order it up. Again, this filament was provided to me for review I was not compensated in any way for the words that came out of my mouth. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for your support on Patreon. Thanks for your support with YouTube Red. And I appreciate it when you let the ads play. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five. And then a neat little uh, lanyard thing that you can pull, tighten up, and there we go. You'll never lose your keys or your thumb ever again.